Shalom, every one of you. Grace and peace to you from our Lord Jesus Christ. Today, let me share guidance to help you to understand the Second Corinthians chapter two. Yesterday, about chapter one, Paul changed his plan to visit Corinth church. Then some people slandered uh, Paul. They said uh, Paul is a uh, kind of person whom they can't uh, fully uh, trust in because uh, Paul changed uh, his uh, plan. And uh, then Paul uh, said, uh, God is uh, trustworthy. All the promises of uh, God is uh, true, and it will come to pass. Uh, and He is a servant of God. And, uh, let me uh, uh, read uh, verse one. So I made up my mind that I would not make another painful visit to you. This is uh, explanation why Paul changed uh, his. Uh, Plan to visit Corinth Church. Um, as I shared, uh, scholars uh, think uh, Paul at least uh, make uh, sent uh, four letters uh, to Corinth Church. First uh, letter is uh, written before First Corinthians. Uh, then the second letter is uh, First Corinthians. Uh, there's uh, another letter which is uh, third uh, before Second Corinthians, uh, which is uh, called um, the severe letter or uh, letter of uh, tears. Uh, and then the fourth, uh, the last one is uh, Second uh, Corinthians. Uh, the First uh, Corinthians. Um, his uh, second uh, letter, um, uh, Timothy. Timothy uh, took the letter and handed uh, it over to the church, uh, Corinth church. But sadly, Corinth church, uh, they didn't, uh, uh, you know, make uh, action as uh, Paul shared uh, advice. Uh, so the result uh, was uh, so negative, uh, and uh, <clears throat> Paul uh, was uh, still concerned, uh, so concerned, uh, and he um, wrote uh, the third uh, letter, which is uh, called uh, a letter of uh, tears, uh, and Titus uh, took the letter to Corinth the church, uh, and by the grace of God, um, Corinth the church uh, accepted, uh, uh, you know. Paul's uh, letter, and they disciplined uh, the one who made uh, troubles uh, to uh, church. Uh, after uh, first, uh, after sending the letter, which is uh, First Corinthians, uh, as I shared, uh, they didn't uh, change uh, their uh, way. They didn't apply Paul's advice uh, to uh, church, yeah? and then Paul visited uh, Corinth church, though it is not described uh, in the Bible. When Paul visited, uh, it looks uh, church didn't welcome Paul. They didn't respect uh, Paul. Probably uh, they insulted uh, Paul, uh, and Paul had to return from Corinth church in grief. Um, that is a uh, kind of a uh, background I would uh, tell for chapter 2 and uh, verse uh, 10. If you forgive anyone, I also forgive him and what I have forgiven. If there was anything to forgive, uh, I have uh, forgiven in the sight of Christ uh, for your sake. Um, here, uh, finally, Corinth Church uh, disciplined uh, the one who made the trouble to church. We are not 
sure what kind of uh, wrong doings uh, he made up uh, probably uh, he was the one uh, who uh, did uh, wrong to Paul when Paul visited uh, the church uh, after first uh, after the letter of first uh, Corinthians uh, the uh, most uh, uh, severe uh, punishment of the church uh, is uh, excommunication and uh, according to the church uh, didn't uh, apply that uh, punishment uh, when the one who did the uh, wrong repented uh, and called the church uh, forgave uh, him and uh, Paul also said uh, he would also forgive uh, uh, him yeah. this is also a good example we um, need to learn yeah. when um, brother or sister in church yeah, did uh, something wrong, or I mean, they when they are involved in sins, the church must not be silent, uh, and the church uh, need uh, to discipline uh, them that they may uh, correct. But the purpose of discipline is uh, not um, condemnation, but uh, to help uh, him get out of uh, such a sinful uh, behavior. So, um, uh, you know, we should be uh, wiser, yeah. And then I would um, uh, add uh, one thing more at this uh, point. Um, I told you in the beginning, Paul uh, changed his plan to visit current church, right? It is um, Paul just uh, thought, um, Paul might uh, think if he visits current church uh, right away, his visit uh, must be uh, too much to current the uh, church yeah. because uh, he is uh, really uh, ready to discipline uh, people who made uh, trouble to foreign uh, church yeah. and uh, Paul just uh, thought uh, uh, just he was um, waiting in prayer until uh, current the church yeah, itself uh, may uh, settle its uh, problem by themselves uh. Right, and uh, next uh, verse uh, 15 and following uh, verses, uh, for we are to God the aroma of Christ uh, among those who are being saved uh, and those who are perishing. It is uh, said that when Emperor of uh, Rome marched, uh, people uh, uh, you know, made uh, perfumes. Uh, yeah. People uh, made uh, uh, perfumes. Uh, yeah. Along the way, they uh, put uh, perfumes uh, to celebrate uh, Caesar, uh, the uh, emperor of uh, Rome. Yeah. Paul suffered uh, a lot, and at, you know, he uh, was also mistreated uh, by current church, uh, though he uh, was the founder of the church. Uh, but uh, he considered himself uh, and his uh, fellow workers uh, as uh, those uh, who made a victory, who made a victorious procession like an uh, emperor because of uh, Christ. Uh, yeah. And he um, was uh, sure of uh, uh, you know truth of Christ, and uh, he said uh, he and his fellow workers, uh, co-workers, are the aroma. Oh, why? Because uh, they were bringing the gospel. And whoever accepts uh, the gospel has life. Uh, whoever does not accept the gospel does not have uh, life. Uh, so uh, they are like uh, the aroma of uh, Christ uh, because uh, they are bringing the gospel. Alright, and uh, this is uh, for um, uh, today. Some parts uh, may be a uh, uh, difficult uh, for you to understand. I hope and wish uh, my guidance uh, may 
become some help uh, for understanding. See you next time. May God bless you.